flow head. When testing a well, surface shutoff is usually provided by a flow control head or flow head that functions as a temporary Christmas tree. The flow head is located on top of the well and is the first piece of equipment at the surface that fluid flows through. The flow head functions. It supports the weight of the test string. It allows up and down and rotation movement of the test string. It flows out of the well through a flow valve. It allows to pump fluid into the well through a kill valve. It allows tools to be introduced into the well through the swab valve. The flow head is used to provide temporary shutoff at the surface for the following. Pre-completion testing. Drill stem testing. Post-completion testing. The flow head has the following features and benefits. A master valve that allows isolation of the surface equipment from the downhole test string. A swab valve that permits introduction and retrieval of wireline tools. A flow line valve to allow fluid to flow from the well. This valve is usually operated with a hydraulic actuator, allowing remote and automatic closure. A kill line valve used to pump fluid into the well. An optional swivel allowing the test string suspended from the flowhead to be rotated independently of the main flowhead block. An elevator sub used to handle the flowhead with the rig elevators. A threaded connection on top of the elevator sub used to attach pressure equipment. The only alternative to the flowhead is the Christmas tree, which is a permanent head installed after the well is completed. The Christmas tree accommodates a completion string. Because the flowhead facilitates testing that occurs before a well is completed, in contrast to the Christmas tree, it is designed to accommodate a temporary test string. The threaded connection on the bottom sub allows easy connection and disconnection of the temporary test string. The flowhead consists of four valves. One master valve. One swab valve. Two wing valves. Each valve has a specific function. The master valve, which allows isolation of the surface equipment from the downhole string, is connected to the top of the drill string. The swab valve allows introduction and retrieval of wireline, slickline or coiled tubing tools. Above this is an elevator sub and lubricator connection which allows intervention by wireline or slickline. The flow head has two wing valves. One allows fluid to be pumped into the well and the other allows fluid to exit from the well. The outlet wing valve allows fluids to flow from the well to the process equipment. It is normally closed. To open it, a hydraulic actuator is used. This actuator is usually connected to an emergency shutdown ESD system. If the surface pressure exceeds a preset value or suddenly drops, Indicating a surface equipment failure, the ESD is automatically activated by pressure pilots or manually activated from a push-button station to close the wing valve. The inlet wing valve, manually operated, allows fluid to be pumped into the well. Typical examples are pumping mud into the formation to contain reservoir pressure, injecting acid into the formation to increase production, or high-pressure injecting of a fluid to enlarge the passages through which the reservoir flows. Subs above and below the master and swab valve allow handling of the flowhead with the rig elevators. They also have a secondary function of protecting the threads at either end of the flowhead. 
Replacement of these subs is inexpensive compared to that of the flow head valves. The flow head swivel is inserted between the master valve and the main valve block. It allows the subsurface equipment to be rotated with respect to the main flow head block. Using a swivel, it is possible to rotate the subsurface equipment without disconnecting the flow line or the kill line. An example of this is using the swivel to set the drill stem test DST, packer downhole. Another example is to relatch the subsurface connection used with floating rigs. The swivel is designed to allow rotation of the subsurface string while supporting the weight of the whole subsurface string. Roller bearings are used to support the significant weight of the test string and the downhole tools. Ball bearings are used to support the lighter weight of the flowhead and the equipment above the flowhead. The swivel should not be rotated under pressure, which means that it is not designed to hold the pressure when submitted to a continuous rotating movement like in drilling operations. The most common applications, as mentioned earlier, are done with the pressure close or equal to zero at a very low rotating speed. During a well test, the pressure can be close to the swivel working pressure but the swivel either does not move onshore or oscillates a little due to the heave offshore. Well testing online certification. For online certification, please visit the following web link. Please hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help us produce more content like this one. Thank you for your attention.